Okay, everyone, so we have a bit of a different problem once again. So the question says, find the minimum distance from the point 4, 2 to y squared is equal to x. Sorry, y squared is equal to 8x. So if we're to quickly sketch this out, just to make sure things are clear, if this is our x and y grid lines, we have y is equal to but y squared equal to 8x. So let's start by saying y squared is equal to 8x and rearranging that to say that y is equal to root 8 of x. So that's roughly what this is going to look like, okay? y is equal to root 8 of x. So we also have a point, right? So let's say this is 4 and that this is 2. So this is going to be point. 4, 2. Oops. Let me fix that. And therefore, there is, and if this is the point here on, on y is equal to eight, uh, root 8x, we want to find this distance between them. Okay, d. Okay, so I hope that's clear. So the question is saying the point 4, 2 is not on the y squared equals 8x graph function, how far away is it? Okay, so there's actually a very simple equation for that. Um, in order to do that, we're just going to start by labeling our points. So our point 1, okay, or x1, y1, is equal to, is the point that's on our function. So that's just equal to point 1, x, which is unknown, and, and your y1, so in this case we rearranged it, which is really convenient, so we can just put root x, root 8 into x, and then the second point is going to be 4, 2, right? So point 2 is x2, y2, so point 2 is there for 4 and 2, okay? This is really important to show these because in the equation, it's going to make your life a lot easier. So let's write out the equation. I'm going to do that in blue. Okay, so the distance is going to be the root. So that's d, right? Is equal to your the root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. Let me do this. Okay, so now it's just substitution. Now that we've written everything very clearly here and here, you just got to plug and chuck. Okay, so D is equal to, what's X1? X minus 4 squared plus Y1 is root 8X minus 2. Okay, so in this case, if it helps, you can always sketch out what the, you know, sketch out like this, root 8x minus 2 into root 8x minus 2, so that you can see when you're multiplying what everything is equal to, and it's going to make your life a lot easier. Uh, you can do that manually, of course. I'm just going to do it for you guys very quickly. So d is just going to be equal to x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus 8x squared because root 8 times root 8 is just 8 minus 4 root 8x okay plus 4 okay so then you're just going to be left with the Simplification of that, which is 9x squared minus 8 plus 4 root 8 into x plus 20. Okay, so in this case, because we have a function that's very clear under our root, 
And you know that whatever that function turns out to be, whatever x is, you still have to take the root. So the root in this case does not really impact the, the um, taking the derivative. Okay, it doesn't really Im impact the optimization. So you can actually just take this guy out and solve it, take the derivative and solve it on its own. And then once you find the x, just plug it back in to find, to find that distance, to find that value. Okay, so let's do that together. So once again, we know that in this case, we'll just say d of x is just going to be equal to 9x squared minus 8 plus 4 root 8x oops, plus 20. Okay, so let's take that derivative now. So d prime of 8x, so 18x minus, again, you just take that guy out on its own. And we're going to set all that equal to 0. And when you solve all of that, you're going to get that x is equal to 1.07. You can take that x now and plug that into uh, the square root here, and then find out what the distance is. Okay. Now, we have one last check to do. So because we took the derivative, we have to take the second derivative to confirm that is in fact the minimum distance. Remember the question asks you for the minimum. So we have to make sure that it is greater than zero. So d double prime of x, in this case, it's just gonna be 18, which is greater than zero. Therefore, we have a minimum. That's it. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.